Hello cake workers, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys making lots of money and if you're not a cake workers join the team. So today I'll be doing something different. I'm going to order food through the Uber Eats apps and log into the Uber Eats courier app so I could get paid to deliver my own food. And right now Popeyes have a deal buy one sandwich get one free. So it's gonna be a double bonus. A free sandwich and get paid to deliver my food and there's a few more reasons why I'm doing this as an Uber Eats driver I would like to know what's going on in the other end of the customer app for example the tipping system how does a customer track you after you accept the order on the GPS and the rating system after you deliver the order how does a customer rate you if we could discover more on the app as a driver that would help us that would be awesome so come along for the ride Hit that subscribe button down below if you want to watch more video of different kind of gigs apps. So I log into the Uber Eats app. I'm just going to order my sandwich now. Here it says buy one get one free. I'll click that. The classic are sold out so I'll just go with spicy. And the bottom says add two to cart. $7.49 for two. The regular price for two would be $14.98. So I'll click add to cart and view cart. Go to checkout. So here's the total for two sandwich $7.49. Service fee $1.50. And delivery fee 99 cents because I'm not far away from the Popeyes, so that's why this delivery fee is so low. I'm um, just like less than a kilometer away. Tax a dollar, and the total is eleven dollars and one cents. So I saved around four dollars. I see they add that service fee. Why you add a service fee? I mean, customer have to tip too, right? They already pay for delivery fee for ninety-nine cents. If it was farther away from my place, say that uh, three or four kilometers or five kilometers, would it be at least uh, four dollars and change for delivery fee? Three dollars. All depends how far the restaurant away from your home. I'll click next. So here it asks for me to leave 15% tip or 10%. Go go 10%. So 25% will be four dollar. If I go edit. I could put one dollar I could put two dollar it wouldn't allow me to put twenty three dollars <laughs> if I try to put twenty dollar two hundred dollar no eight dollar so I'm not gonna put tip because I'm gonna go pick it up for myself right I'm just gonna log into the uber eats Korea app soon once I get close to the restaurant and hopefully I get the order <laughs> So I'll go put zero tip, click save. I'm just going to drive over to the restaurant before I place the order. So I'm just going to place this order now and then I'll log into my Uber Eats Korea app. So place order. I'm going in, placing, placing, placing. So I log into my Uber Eats Korea app now. As here it says, preparing your order. Estimate time, 1:05, and the latest arrival is 1:20, and the time is now 12:45. So they're saying around 20 minutes. So let's see if I'm gonna get it through my. The courier app, the driver one, it's looking for order here. Finding trips, I mean. So I get the order here. I'm just gonna accept it. And I hope that's mine. It shows it really close anyway. Yeah, that's mine. 
So I placed the order around 12.45. That was fast. And the time is 12.52. So once you accept the order, the customer could see you right away where you are. So if you're five minutes away from the restaurant, driving to the restaurant, they could see exactly if you're going to the restaurant or you're going home or you're going somewhere else to drop off another order. So this is Uber Eats. So let's go deliver my sandwich to my place. Here is showing I'm one minute to wave. Arrive to the location, go to the Uber Eats Korea app. I'll give myself a thumbs up and deliver. Order deliver. So after I deliver the food, um, Uber Eats brought up a tipping screen again. So the first, when you place the order, there's a tipping screen. You could do that. And then after you receive your order, there's a reminder again. And this is the rating system for the driver. I'll give a thumbs up. And then under the thumbs up, uh, what comes up, friendly service, great communication, perfect handoff, quick and efficient, delivery with care, so I'll give myself all those stars for all those and I'll click submit and it says enjoy your order thanks for using Uber Eats I'll let us know how it went that's it I have my two chicken sandwich so on that order I made three dollars and twenty cents if I tip myself would it be two dollars so it'll be around five dollars and why it's so low because it's close to my home it wasn't a far drive just less than a kilometers so what did we learn or what did we gain from this I didn't like the service fee customer is already paying for a delivery fee then tax then you have to tip the customer so all those adds up I don't know why you have a service fee I mean if the delivery fee is 99 cents let it be that 99 cents if it's four dollar and it's a far to drive it's four dollar you add a surface fee on top of that an extra two dollar it adds up that's why customer don't want to tip uh, second when you accept the order uh, customer could see exactly where you are on the GPS so if you're five minutes away from the restaurant they could see you driving to the restaurant so if you're multi app in and you accept a uber eats and then you have to go deliver that order say said you're multi app in they could see you going somewhere else and the third one I like the tipping system that uber have now to remind a customer before they placed an order to tip and when the driver is on his way to deliver the order the customer could still tip after the order is delivered the customer could still tip too so that's a good idea that's I love that part for the tipping system so thank you guys for watching if you made it this far please subscribe to the channel if you like this video and uh, stay healthy stay wealthy peace out